work that ought to be assigned to me is being passed down to male colleagues who occupy more junior positions than me because I'm expectant. Is there any cause of action for me against such discrimination? Hi guys, welcome back to Ask a Lawyer by Crime Sipoa. I'm Praxidis Kage, I'm sure by now you're familiar with me. Uh, we've previously dealt with uh, employment contracts, we've dealt with uh, some questions on pay. So today we are here to deal with workplace etiquette, conduct and discrimination. So for today, I'll narrow down to the questions that you have asked us. And the first one is, my boss and some colleagues use abusive language and make very offensive comments towards me. When I go to HR, I do not receive assistance. What are my rights in this matter and what are my legal options? Well, this just creates an uncomfortable work environment where your boss should be able to handle it or rather to find a way of uh, managing it. Uh, and should they not, be able to well you can actually go to court you can file criminal charges against them or you can seek an injunction in a civil court for them to stop uh, whatever it is that they are doing and just to continue answering this deeper there's a second question uh, almost related to this that are employers obligated to investigate reports of workplace harassment yes they are because they are practically responsible for your stay at work and should there be any form of harassment while at work or by an employee or a fellow employee or somebody of a superior position your employer should be in a position to ensure that you have a comfortable work environment including uh, ensuring that or rather to investigate any claims for workplace harassment and actually the employment act goes further you know workplace harassment is is wide yeah there's the topic most of us don't like handling sexual harassment at work um, and the act is very clear for employers who have above 20 employees they need to have a sexual harassment policy so they are obligated to investigate this and to ensure a, a comfortable work environment so you can pursue criminal charges against the specific individuals you can go to court to seek an injunction but before you do that all that you can as well always uh, try and have your boss your employer handle it first so uh, the third question is work that ought to be assigned to me is being passed down to male colleagues who occupy more junior positions than me because I'm expectant. Is there any cause of action for me against such discrimination? Well, every one of us as citizens of this country, we have a right not to be discriminated for whatever reason it is, be it pregnancy, be it gender, be it your religion, be it your age. So yeah, this is a constitutional right that is being infringed. You can file a constitutional petition in the employment court just for this to be stopped and you can actually get damages for that yeah the problem that normally arises is actually proving this just by word of mouth if i tell you by word of mouth you know it becomes difficult it will become a verbal game in court which makes it difficult for the courts to uh, decide on so it's always better to have uh, any form of evidence on this the next question is i I fell sick with COVID-19 and had to seek leave, a leave period. When I recovered, I came back to find someone else had taken over my position that I had worked really hard to get and I was offered a less prestigious position. What are my rights in the matter? Well, all employees are entitled to seek leave under the Employment Act in addition not um, in addition to your normal annual leave. When you go for your sick leave, it doesn't mean that you've spent all your annual leave days. When it comes to sick leave, that is, uh, there's a period of time where you can work with full pay. There's a period of time where your employer is allowed to pay half pay. And there's a period of time where your, your employer is actually allowed not to pay anything when you're in, on your sick leave and they'll still be within the law. So once you've spent all this, because um, reasoning out as an employer now, you, somebody has to do your job. There needs to be uh, communication by both parties that 
now you have graduated from uh, paid sick leave full pay sick leave with full pay now you are on sick leave with half pay now you're on sick leave without pay now we are doing because of one two three four five the company has taken these measures to to ensure that business is running but then as well you negotiate um but being discriminated you see now this is a very thin line between discrimination because of your illness and business moving on yeah and that's why i brought in the aspect of communication you can't be away for a year and expect to come back and you take your position as if nothing ever happened what happens to that person who's been doing your job at work so it's debatable it's negotiable yeah so uh the last question would be can an employee on disability or medical leave be fired anybody can be fired for whatever reason the que the big question is why were you fired if you're fired because of your disability if you're fired because of your medical condition or because you're on medical leave that is discrimination that is unfair for disability is unfair is in is discrimination of which it all ends up being unfair termination so depending on the reason why you are fired and whether due process was followed because most contracts uh unemployment contract is a contract like any other and in any contract any party in the contract can terminate and the contracts are clear on how each party can terminate most of them by giving notice and for as long as you've given notice and for an employer they have given a reason well they can fire you the big question is why have you been fired if then it's because of these two reasons specifically because of the reason of disability or your own medical leave your medical condition that's unfair termination so you can clearly file for damages for that so thank you so much for listening to me today see you next time